Negative numbers can seem confusing, but there are simple ways to explain how they work. Numbers below zero are called negative numbers and are sometimes referred to as minus numbers. Numbers above zero are called positive numbers. Zero is neither positive nor negative. There are rules we can use when adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. To add a positive number to a negative number, we count forward the amount we're adding. Let's take negative 3, add 7. To add 7, a positive number, we move 7 places to the right. Negative 3, add 7, is 4. To add a negative number to a positive number, we count back the value of the negative number. So to find out the answer to 4 add negative 6, we mark positive 4 on the number line. To add negative 6, we move 6 places in the negative direction, to the left of the number line. 4 add negative 6 is negative 2. If we add a positive to any number, we always move to the right, adding on the number of moves. If we add a negative to any number, we always move to the left, adding on the number of moves. To add a negative number to a negative number, we count back the value of one of the negative numbers. So to find out the answer to negative four, add negative five, we mark negative 4 on the number line. To add negative 5, we move 5 places in the negative direction, to the left of the number line. Negative 4 add negative 5 is negative 9. To subtract a positive number from a negative number, we count back the value of the positive number. So to find out negative 1, subtract 7, we mark negative 1 on the number line. To subtract 7, we move 7 places in the negative direction, to the left of the number line. Negative 1 subtract 7 is negative 8. When we see a minus sign followed by a negative sign, we turn the two signs into a plus sign. Instead of subtracting a negative, we add a positive. So minus negative 2 becomes add 2. This is now an addition problem. Negative 3 subtract negative 2 is negative 1. Here's another example. This time, a positive number subtract a negative number. Instead of subtracting a negative, we add a positive. So, minus negative 3 becomes add 3. This is now an addition problem. 5 subtract negative 3 is 8. Here are two rules to help us remember what to do when adding and subtracting negative numbers. When two different signs appear next to each other, then we subtract. When two of the same signs appear next to each other, then we add.